Hi everyone, my name is Sue Viscara, the Digital Declutter Diva, and today we're going to be talking about conditional formatting. Have you ever wondered why the color of your unread email is that color, typically blue or possibly black? What if I told you you could make it purple or green or yellow, whatever color that you choose? Let's take a look and see what our options are. Not only can we change the message color of the typical everyday unread messages, we can change the color and the font size and style by recipient, by sender, by subject, depending on whether or not the message has an attachment or it has been marked as high importance by someone or it's flagged by you or someone else. Here are some screenshots of the initial steps. You're going to navigate to the View tab in Outlook. You're going to choose View Settings, then Conditional Formatting, and that's going to land you here. Right now, I'm showing you all the system default rules that were generated by um, IT that's already created for me. And as you'll see, IT decided that my unread messages are going to be this color, this size, and this font. I can change that as well as a few other things. Welcome to my inbox. Typically the default is on the home tab up here in the top left. If you do not see all of these commands, that's because you have a simplified ribbon versus the classic ribbon. And depending on the version of Microsoft Outlook, you can either toggle this back and forth here, or there will be a square up here with the arrow pointing up. And you'll be able to click on that square and choose Show Ribbon. Um, so you'll be able to play around with that and you'll see what options that you have and which one is best for you. In this situation, we're going to go ahead and click on the View tab, and you'll notice the View Settings. Right now, I have made all of my emails unread so that we can play around with our options. View Settings, Conditional Formatting. You notice that unread messages, I can't even delete this. So these were all system defaults. These were created by the employer or the group that you're using the email from. So my unread messages are currently 11 point blue. I'm going to change that and I'm going to say I want all of my unread messages to be the color red. All of them. They're all red. That might be a little bit loud for some of us, so let's go ahead and reverse that back to the custom blue default. Oh, it didn't choose blue. Okay, let's see what happens. There we go. All right, the next thing that we would like to do is change the message color by the sender. So I see I have a message here from Sue Viscara. So let's see how we can make anything from Sue different. It was back to view settings, conditional formatting. Let's add a new condition, a new rule. And we're gonna call this Sue. Anything from Sue, we are going to make the color red. Now, once um, I have looked at that email from Sue, I actually want it not to be the color red anymore. I've named this Sue, and now I need to explain to Microsoft Outlook who is Sue. So I now need to go to my address book. If you are within an organization, you're going to have a global address book. If this is, let's say, a personal friend of yours or a newsletter that you signed up for that is not in your global address book, you will need the first 
add that sender to your contacts. I already have Sue in my contacts, so I'm going to click from Sue, click from again, click OK. And remember, we talked about read versus unread messages. Any message that has not been read, I want it to be that color. So we're going to keep clicking OK, 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 all the way through. So you'll see the message from Sue that is unread is a dark color shade of red. I'm going to open this message. I'm going to close the message. And now you'll see it is back to the typical uh, black font. But if I had not marked for unread messages only, this would be a lighter shade of red. Now let's look at subject. So there may be a keyword that you are looking for. And let's say I'm looking for the word monthly, and I want that to be visible to me. Let's view settings again. Conditional formatting. We're going to add, we're going to call this one monthly. We're going to change the font to purple. And let's go ahead and choose a different font style just to make it more interesting. We're going to click OK. And now remember, we have to choose the condition because Microsoft doesn't know what we're talking about. So the condition is the word monthly is what I want to look for. Now you can do this in the subject or the subject and message. We're just going to demonstrate with the subject field only. And remember for more choices, best practice on red. So let's click on through and see what happens. All right, so there's my crazy font and the color purple. The next thing we want to talk about is the recipient. So you're on many email distribution lists. Sometimes the email is just for you, and sometimes the email is for you and a few other people. Sometimes the email is sent to someone else, but you are copied. I only care about an email that is sent only to me. So let's see what that looks like. Again, view settings, conditional, add, I'll say me. If it's sent only to me, I want it to be green. But wait, I haven't told it what that means only to me. I've only chosen a color, right? So here we have to define the condition. So since the person is me, I don't need to grab the name from the address book. I just want to check here where it says, I am the only person on the two line. And again, best practice, more choices, only items that are unread. And click OK and click OK. So now everything that is sent only to me is currently in green. Now let's take a look at removing these to make it easier for you guys to see what we're working on. We're going to go ahead and delete. I'm going to select Sue, delete, select monthly, delete, and me, delete. So let's go ahead and clear that up. Now it's back to the default of that bold blue color. Let's say I'm waiting on an email with a proposal as an attachment, and I don't want to miss it. There are many ways to um, find it quickly, but we're just using conditional formatting for today. So view settings, conditional formatting, attachment, font, we're going to say, um, let's find a different color, fuchsia. And now we need to define what this name actually means. So the condition is, you don't need to put anything in this first area here with the general, but more choices, only items with one or more attachments, and only items that are on red. Click OK, and click OK, and click OK. Now, right now, I don't have anything in the inbox with an attachment that is not red. 
let's go back to one more option. View settings, conditional formatting, and let's say someone sent us an email with high importance. And we want this one to be the color red. And now we have to define that condition for important. It is not in the main area. It's in more choices. Remember messages that are unread and importance is high. I want to know which ones have an importance of high. All right, so right here we know that this message is important and unread. What if we have a message that is flagged? So I'm going to go ahead and flag one of my messages here. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and flag it. And I'm going to say any message that is flagged, I want it to be, again, another color. So view settings. Conditional formatting, we're going to add a rule called flag. We're going to choose a font color. And let's see, let's choose aqua. Click OK. That's a crazy looking aqua. It's hard to see, isn't it? Condition, more choices, and anything that I have flagged. I want to be able to see. So now it's that color. And remember, you can delete any of these. It does not delete the message. It only de deletes the conditional formatting. And now we can get back to our normal email box. One bonus item I would like to show you is, looking at my screen, this is a certain font size. Let's say that I would like this to be a little bit larger. That is also in view settings. So let's choose view settings, other settings, other. The font size is eight. I'm going to make it 12. And watch what happens to my screen. They all get larger. So if you're having trouble seeing um, the words on your screen, you can always make the font larger. Friends, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. My goal is to show you some very, very simple and efficient ways to use Outlook. If you have any questions or you need these instructions sent to you, please reach out. In the meantime, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Please feel free to subscribe if you want to receive a notification. Have a great day.